Hello and welcome to Zachary 3 TV. Today we're racing the Cars Line Cup Series here at Bristol. The NCCRS race here was uh, not that great. I did change some stuff up here for the Cup race. Honestly, don't know how to feel about it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, starting on pole, Real Gaming Freak. Uh, I don't think this is the first one of the season. I'll have to check the stats. Not really a huge stat, but 10 point bonus seeing he's uh, just a few points below the cut line. Right now, after a bad race at Twin Ring Motegi, in fact, he's only eight points below the cut line. The ten-point bonus already putting him above the cut line to start the race. However, finishing is going to be where he's going to want to excel. Also, keep in mind leading laps is important, and leading the most laps is also another ten-point bonus along with those lap points you get as well. Um, next thing, points lead situation: Barbie Thrush to third, starting tenth; Joe Payne starting twenty-fifth; Fire. I think it's three points to separate him from the points lead. Joy paints ahead right now. We'll see how it finishes, but right now, if it were to end right here, Barney Thresher would do a crossover move in terms of points lead and take him back. And then three part-time drivers today, um, unlike last week, only had two. This week's rotation is Ian Styles in 86, starting, I'm just going to say it right here, he's starting fifth. Um, then Anthony McClure in the four, and then 94 LJ Toledo. Uh, and then one last thing I want to mention uh, oh yeah, and Reggie Fogelman is back in the five car this week, already starting fourth on his time in his race back, looking good. And last thing I do want to mention, no ticker because uh, my files messed up in the middle of practice. And I was like, you know what, I'm not going to mess up my game trying to fix it in the middle of practice, so not worth the effort. And also, I was not able to get the ticker tests done the way I was wanting to do them. Or I may still have some 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 leads on that, but... We'll see how it goes, but from what I'm aware, we're going to go back to our regular ticker where we reason a few races back. Other than that, that's all I got. Uh, Jonah, he was wanting to count down our top tens. Uh, go ahead. All right. First row is um, the pulse here. Um, the, the game freak and the outside is NH. Row two is F Squid and Reggie Fogelman, the turning driver. Row three is E. Um, Ian Styles and me. Row four is Quadruped and Bird. Row five is Jessica and Barney. Row six, Yo Yo Yoiko and um the sixty four of Jacob. Row five, uh the four of oh, uh, um. Anthony McClure and Jeff Jordan. Row six. Bobby Isaac and um, the nine of. I forgot the nine's name. Uh, NASCAR Fireball 48. Um, row. 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 Um. Oh, well. Oh, oh we're row seven. Um, row seven, is it? Oh. We're past the top ten at this point. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if you want to. Yeah, might my, my stop there. Right. Uh, um, fun fun thing to mention, that all the SP1 cars that have the same exact sponsor in the hood starting right next to each other. That's interesting. And and the ninety seven and the ninety seven behind them. Yep. Uh, nice. Behind the um, sixty seven. Yeah, all three of these guys got some major highlights on them. Uh, Steven Boxes came out their first one of the season after being second to last in standings. Sean Arn third in standings looking to catch the points leaders. May not happen today, we'll see. And then Zion, uh, twenty points above the cut line trying not to get eliminated today. And with uh, about a minute left, uh, we'll go ahead and ask Reggie. You got any uh, initial thoughts to start off? Uh, yeah, that Bobby was fast in practice. He started way in the middle for the race. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say May in the middle. Let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He's starting 15th, so not, not all bad. And Paint started way back there in 30 seconds. 25th. I remember. I could be wrong, but I believe it's 25th. Anyway, it's about 20 seconds to the command. Um, go ahead and the engine starts 75 laps here today at the Glass Great Coliseum. Drivers, start your one last thing I forgot to note, 
single file races, single file restarts for this race. Same deal as uh, in CCRS. However, hoping the result is a lot better. It looks like the 88 with a mechanical issue already. They're going to dip down to pit road on the start. Hey, um, Zach, do you want to show 15, 16, 17, 18 is what? Or never mind. No. Nah. Green, green, green. The 88 of Jessica falling back due to mechanical failure. See how long they can stay green here. Turn on our current this ticker because the other one not working. Jessica uh, slow on the bottom. That may bring out a yellow if she's not able to make a pit road. And caution is out now. Not sure if that is for Jessica or not. Wait for the AI to slow up, and it looks like there was a big one back here in the back. They were able to make it three laps under green. Uh, we'll see how that goes. It's like the 45 of Zevil, who is 20 points below the cut line coming into this race, as may have been involved. And the AI slowing up this track is very confusing, but if and this was actually for dead last. Uh, frankly surprised to see this, but this is Zevil sending it three wide in between Brandon Nelson and Roach. Roach is second to last, in, or second or third to last in standing, or he's somewhere close to last in standings. Brandon Nelson actually 10th in the standings right now. So let's go slow-mo here. Yeah, it's three wide. I know it's the beginning of the race, but when you're where you're at in standings, and you got to get for every point you can get, but not, not, not three wide on lap two. On well, lap three, technically. He almost had it saved, though, but back. nothing could be done. Right into Roach. Wait, oh, first Burning. caution already? Yep. On lap two, 42 oh, self-spins. No yeah, one's... they're battle for last, last place, Jonah. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. the only one car out of the race, that's just because she did not need that. She was just below the cut line, three points below. She will not be able to recover and get back inside the cut line. Uh, and again, no double file restart, so once we do go back green, it'll be a single file restart. As the 82 has led them all so far, it's only five laps. Uh, single file restart are the best, are the best things in... Um, in short track races and that's quite about it short track races it's, only, it's pr really the only place we're doing them for the reason of cars what glitching smaller tracks this is a smaller track oh no like um m m like not like on um, bristol like smaller like la coliseum you can't fit 42 cars in a smaller track like that yeah all right, going green this time. Again, single file start. Reggie's going to have to hope for a good start here. Uh, already from fourth to second. Let's see how it goes. The next short track that we're going to is um, in the schedule. will be at um, Martinsville. As, they, as the pace car is going to the pits, the game freak will lead them back to the green. Green flag is out. Five car got a nice start there. However, the 82 may just plan be quicker. Oh, he's got to run. Oh, one car oh. on the wall in the back. Literally the one car. I think the 71 then... backed into him. Let's go and go back there and see. Uh, yeah, one car Nothing slow. Happened. No, they kept it green, but that slowed up the track quite a bit. The 71 got into the back of them. As they are racing very aggressive here in the back. The 66 appears to have a mechanical isn't... issue. Remember, he was that involved in that accident. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, Isaac uh, got in the back of the one. Oh, so one, little... one, one driver hit the wall. Part-time driver mm. Anthony McClure made his NCCRS career debut here a couple years ago. Uh, yeah, last yeah last year, I think. Shoot, a lot going on on the track right now. Oh, and he's in the wall again. This is for ninth. Oh. It's Bobby Isaac trying to get two top tens in a row. Goes right underneath him. Austin, no, we stay green. Yeah, we're still <laughs> top five drivers still still battling to who gets on um, who gets on um, first place position. Roach in the back, right by himself after going to pit road, uh, had some mechanical yeah, yeah, issues. 
13 car in the wall. Back up front. Passing here is not easy, maybe impossible. No easy way of telling. 66 is automatically only clear. Single, only single final line. Like following the leader. They can, unless they can get some runs going. Green flag, if we stay green to the end here, we may see some interesting stuff, but... What will happen at Martinsville, though, if we, if, if there's a reason, if we go, if we, if there's, there's a caution come out, do we go single file or double file? Single, same restart rule. The, no. uh, all three Bro Motorsports cars inside the top ten right now, Barney Thresher in ninth, uh, Yoiko in eighth, and then Chef Squid in fourth. Chef Squid inside the playoff bubble. Yoiko well outside the playoff bubble. And then two part two of the three part time drivers in the race. Ian Styles and Anthony McLaren inside the top ten. Anthony McLaren in tenth. Ian Styles in sixth. And then one twenty one has, has multiple start has multiple starts and even finishing more more top tens recently through through um through the season. And he's still looking for a, to win. Seventeen's got to run on the five. Lap traffic is something we're going to have to start being concerned about here. And uh, disqualifications for damage would be understandable, but there's no cars that are underneath a damaged vehicle policy except for that 66 car, and he is well on pace to already. Mm -hmm. He's back. He's already well on pace, so no concerns for him. There's cars in the back that I am concerned about in terms of their point standings like Crazy BGG. You Wait. Oh. Whoa. 23 in the wall. Oh, they saved it though. Nice I save. I can DQ them though. Well, they're man. on. They're on pace. That was a 97, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. these guys are on pace. Oh, they're gonna go to lap down, it, on pace. So that's gonna have to be the leader to decide how they're gonna get around these guys. Leader's gonna be on mm. them in just a few minutes. Yeah, and he's slowly starting to pull away from the five. Slowly. Even though he he returned to the cup series, returned to the cup series for um, final season, huh? And became a team miner. Who? So, Who are you talking about? Reggie. Oh yeah. Definitely not the quickest car right now. Uh, Road checks the quickest car in the field. Not surprising to see though. He's got the freshest tires, so. He is so far, no cautions. He's probably no. gonna be able to in terms of lap time's gonna be able to leapfrog the I field, mean, but if we don't get any yellows, he's gonna be staying two laps down. I mean we do have um, one caution though. That's yeah. that's one thing. Yep. I mean not that bad at I mean I mean, I mean it's not that I mean it's not like um Indianapolis, it's just you know, just not that bad. 17 starting to let off a little bit. Five hurt slightly quicker than the 82 that time. And we're starting to see the field separate a little bit as the skill level and uh, car speed is starting to really show for some of these guys as we get into this longer run. But it's about to go low on the um, 86. Yeah, but it didn't that. succeed though. Yeah, A6 is a little bit off running. pace. Definitely lacking in experience. Running Trying really to, well today. Um, really running well today though. I'll give him that. He won at um, Daytona Beach, didn't he? Or... 86 car has uh, won a NCCRS race at New Hampshire in the 45, but that's about it. Uh. 18 really peaking low though, I'll say that much. As this field starts to separate, lap traffic becomes more and more of a concern. Had that one accident on lap one. So far, everything's clean. Your top, your top five update: the gaming freak, Reggie, NH, Jeff Squid, and me. All that traffic. No caution. We're on lap 32 so far. Quadruped, despite that uh, lap one or that restart troubles, uh, still able to hold 14th right now. Mm. Exactly. They cut up on lap 10 mm. to go first. Mm. Huh? The leaders are coming up on that lap traffic. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, the pace hasn't changed much, but second place winner last week, Sean Ard, really struggling today, and so is Crazy BGD. Uh, both leading Rookie of the Year standings right now, just really struggling right now. And Dark X Rain, who's only 20 points above the cut line, is really struggling as well, along with Exo and uh, 20 or uh, 97 is Zine, who also not that far ahead of the cut line. So these guys do not need a bad run today. And Roach, who's already two laps down, not looking too great either. And Brad Stover, who's already having a bad season. So. Guys back here don't need to be back here, I'll say that much. And the passing is literally slimmed down. If we stay green to the end, though, we may see something, I, I hope. But, uh, salvage what I could. At least there's not a wreck fest like NCRS was, but 82 mm -hmm. just seems to be a little bit quicker mm -hmm. than these guys looking for his second yeah, win of the season. 82. Uh, yeah, yeah, big points there Reggie's for the five. And also a big Reggie's point save for the ninety one who's right behind him and not only in stand right right next to him in standings, but right behind him on the racetrack, only a couple spots separate him. Reggie is closing in on um um the gaming freak. Yeah. What that five car does want to do though is take that lead, get some laps led. Because it looks like the uh eighty two has already secured like the ten point bonus for most laps led. Looks hey. like lap traffic is gonna happen. It's not gonna be quick. It's gonna be a very slow and painful death. If yeah. we see it, we'll see it like probably lap, lap six. Lap pro in. Probably in like 20 laps here. Throw a history about lap cars. They always um pain the leaders when they're about to win, win every race. Take a look back at um the previous um Bristol races, like um Matt De Benedetto. Yeah, five cars starting to lose ground a little bit. Let's see how that lap time was. All right, take that back. He stayed even. Let's see how it goes. It's 82 starting to sniff the draft. I don't know the draft's not really a big thing here, but it's somewhat existent of those lap cars. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be slower or faster. I don't really know. But uh, how that's going to affect the leaders is going to be very important here. Because... Uh, it could we could see as lap traffic here at Bristol has always been a concern uh, that's just hypothetically speaking we may not see lap traffic those lap cars may just start be able to they may have saved up their stuff knowing these guys are going to be pushing to stay ahead and we'll see how that goes Ready laps to go five car wasn't as quick that time the 91 pressuring the 17 right now oh, oh goes low goes low on the 17, will one of them clear it off? Seems like the 17 doesn't even give up the bot, the um, top. Any nearly 91 slowing ah. down. Crazy battle here for third, allowing those cars ahead to pull away. However, oh, the 121 trying to make it three wide. Oh, it almost got loose. But thinks, saved it. Thinks better of oh, it. Oh, he's trying to go to do the same. Very aggressive driving here by the 121. Nearly got it. Nearly got it. 17 aggressive to keep it. You can tell he's not as quick, hey, though. Hey, the five is sucking up the 82 right now. Ah, uh, based on what I'm seeing on the lap times, that is not the case. Yeah, it's Eight. not really much of a change there, but 17 has fallen back considerably. So we're about 25 to go. Now the 91 is trying to get back to, um, trying to get back on the third place spot off of the 17. Yeah, and that run... That side by side race, they just slowed them both down. All you gotta do is just stay, stay side by side until one of them gives up. And uh, 91 it didn't really give up there, he just didn't have the speed to stay with him. That 121 yeah. going three wide on him didn't help him at all. Uh, slowed them both up. He's gonna t try to rail in that 17 car once again and maybe try to get around him, but I think that 17 is a little bit slower, but being able to. Aero block pretty well here is 
this setup isn't really the greatest for Bristol. And I will admit, most of the BBMC tracks in terms of AI racing suck. So, uh, here's that product. They look great in terms of visual, but in terms of the racing product, just ain't there. So the 91 and the 17 appear to have pulled away just a tad from the 121. These two battling a little bit, a little bit hard. I don't think lap traffic is as much a concern as I thought it was going to be as uh, I think my prediction has so far upheld as those lap cars are starting to speed up a little bit compared to the leaders who are using up their stuff to try to keep ahead. Once again, that five car is just not really gaining or losing any time to that. I take that back. I think those lap cars are coming a little bit, but we'll see how much time they can get in a little, a little over uh, a little under 15 laps. I don't think they're going to gain a whole much. Again, it's the 121 set. Battle for third is still very alive right now. It's trying 91. to be the tie. The tie is just me. Makes everyone feel dizzy. Yeah, these when, tires being wore out. These last uh, 15 laps. I mean, be not. Oh, uh, not the wear, the um, the rims, the the, not the rim, uh, the the tire thing in a bit. That um, the sit that that. Yeah, I don't know. But he was, but, but 121's closing on him, but still ha have enough speed. But the 91's nearly dropping out. He sees up a lot of the stuff to try to cast that 17. But and the again, 86 is falling behind him. We are closely approaching the end of this race. Only one yellow to the day, only one car, a couple laps, only one car out of the race. Hey, Zach, how I don't think they're going to catch him. Um, I really don't. Because the pace hasn't changed much. Hey, it's a little, little bit. We're going to be ten, 10 laps to go this time around. That five car has not closed up a whole lot. Maybe 10 seconds in this entire green flag run. It, or 10, 10 laps to go. And he lost that entire run. All right. He's going to have to hope for that 82 to make some mistakes, but this is going to be a huge points day for that 82 after this race. Winning the pole, uh, yeah, just straight up killing the field, so not a great setup, but it is what it is. You know what? Uh, coming to five, those lap cars are getting closer. I don't think they're going to be close enough, though. On that last lap, it may, it may be, but I don't think they're close enough. Alright, we're slowly approaching five laps to go. The 82 has pretty much just dominated. Nothing else to say, no one's really it having the speed. Fast lap. Fastest lap right now, 66, no surprise, but look who's second fastest lap. Leader. The leader. Yep. And oh, and one there. of the lap cars in the wall there. Lap car, lap car in the wall. Cause a chaos. That's the Gonna 13 of Crazy BGD, who's a rookie. Again, the 66 pitted with fresh tires, meaning that's why he has the fastest lap. Uh, are they gonna slow him? Are, are they gonna slow him? It would. Mm, seems like not. Just a few laps to go. I doubt it. Thirteen with a lot of damage, but real gaming freak. One auto club didn't dominate like in this fashion, but did very well. Seems Coming to like the one twenty one slowing down. Two laps to go here at Bristol as the lead yeah. grows on that five car and the pole sitter. For on Bristol 
And we're down to the final lap. Can there be a miracle? Can something happen? Yep, got the fast car all day. Sure and enough. seems like the gaming freak is gonna win at Bristol. Yep, fast car all day. Sure enough, no one had anything. Five cars losing time at the end. Well, uh, I've seen worse, but uh, not bad. At least we got one caution. That's it. Definitely not what I was looking for, but. Got what I could out of it. And uh, once again, guys, we'll be back with our ticker soon. Once I get it fixed. Um, any last closing comments from either of you guys? Next race, next race we'll be going is at... Um, to be determined. Uh, the vote. The vote's six. up. And it seems like the most amount of... Um, votes are uh, go for Watkins Glen with uh, with an eleven vote voters and four and second vote and second is and with the um the the most sec the second most had it will go to was um Talladega for four um votes and for Old Spice it will be three points. I mean not points uh voters and two votes on Sonoma and none for Cocoa Beach Portland and yeah that was about it exactly well race likely next race is going to be Wilkins Glen and after that we're back to our normal schedule I believe that's I don't really know I'm too late to check but um, we'll see you then we'll probably be back with our ticker and if all things go to my best ex my best hopes we could have a vertical ticker but that that is that's down there at some so uh we'll see you guys next race this race was mid but eh, gotta have mid ones to outroll the good ones if Watkins Glen is next I will say you're in for a treat